Hello. The next thing I want to do with our course height data is to uh, create summary statistics, figure out the mean, median, mode, average, and so on for our data, and create a couple basic graphics like histogram, bar chart, and so on. So I want to highlight this data in two options. You could just click and drag until you get all the data. But if you have a lot of data, you know, three, four, five hundred data points, it might be faster just to click on the A up top. Highlights the entire column. In the top right, you have some options. You can see right here, I'm going to click on the bottom right to one variable analysis. And you notice you have one variable analysis probability calculator. We'll use some of these later this semester. But to begin, we want to click on the one variable analysis. Click on that and analyze. And we get a separate window. Let me expand this a little bit. And this actually gives us a histogram right here. And right here, we could slide this and uh, change the bin size of the histogram. And this is a frequency histogram, so the most common heights between you know, 62 and 82 inches tall. So here's a histogram. If I click on this button right here, I can make a bar chart. I can make a box plot. We have, notice we have two outliers. We discuss these in class. And finally, we can make a stem and leaf plot to some degree. And uh, the other thing we want to look at here, we go back to the histogram, is get the summary statistics. So up here, there's this little, it's the summation button. You might have seen that, the summation sign. You might have seen that in uh, intermediate algebra. And it should say show statistics. I'm going to click on that. And right here we have, and is the sample size, the mean, standard deviation for population sample. And then at the bottom, we have the five number summary. 